The end of the 20th century has seen extraordinary developments in telecommunications and networking technologies, with applications dramatically improving the collaboration between people, sometimes in unexpected ways. In the early 90s, the World Wide Web was created at CERN to help the exchange of documents between particle physicists collaborating in experiments from all over the world. Soon, it exploded to cover every aspect of our lives. Today, scientists are facing another problem, limited computing power. Physicists, biologists and meteorologists need to run very heavy calculations involving incredible amounts of data. Although computers are becoming more and more powerful, the real needs of breakthrough scientific research still exceed the technological progress. To solve this problem, scientists are developing a new tool, the grid. As the web allows sharing of information over the internet, so the grid will allow sharing of computing power and resources like disk storage, databases and software applications. While one computer may take days or weeks to complete a complex scientific calculation, the grid will make available hundreds or even thousands of collaborative computers and get the same result faster and more efficiently. Once connected to the grid, the user will see it as one large computer system, providing almost infinite computer power. How, in practice, do such grids work? You will enter the grid using a software interface that runs on your computer. After clearing security validation, your computer will be able to talk to the core of the grid, the resource broker. The resource broker will query the information service to know which hardware and software are available to process your program at that moment. And the replica catalog to know the locations of all existing data. Once the appropriate resources have been located, the broker assigns the job to a computing element where it is executed. Most countries have already started significant grid development activities. At the European level, DataGrid is the largest software development project with 21 partner organisations from 15 EU countries and a total of over 200 researchers. The project will set up a production grid using data and applications coming from high energy physics, environmental science and bioinformatics building the base of a stable resource that scientists all over Europe will be able to plug into and use. Many other grid-enabled applications are under study in fields closer to our everyday life, like simulation and visualization for surgical procedures, flooding crisis, and weather forecasts. The grid will make it possible for scientific collaborations to share resources on an unprecedented scale and for geographically distributed groups to work together in ways that were previously impossible.